Hi folks, in the following I want to show you the latest cool feature of the Storm32 gimbal controller, namely its pass-through mode in combination with an autopilot flight controller. Now, first, what is all this about? We have a copter with a Storm32 gimbal connected to it, and very often what you want to do is to configure the settings in the Storm32 gimbal controller. And in order to do so, you usually have to connect to its USB port to a PC. Now, in many practical applications, it's such that the storm board is somewhere hidden in a case or behind something, so that this USB port is actually not easily accessible, and it's fast not easy to configure it. What you want to do in this case, or what you want to have in this case, is that you are able to connect via the USB port of your autopilot flight controller, because this USB port usually is easily accessible. And this is exactly what this pass-through mode does, namely it allows you to connect to this USB port of the autopilot flight controller, open a tunnel so that the communication can go through this autopilot flight controller with this storm gimbal controller. For this to work what you need is a serial connection from your flight controller to your storm gimbal controller, which is this cable here, and in addition you of course need the proper firmware, but that's all what you need. So let me show this. Um, so here we have a uh, the st we have a USB cable which is connected to the Storm 32 gimbal controller, and on, in my case this USB port is on COM21. So when I go to the GUI, I can connect, read, write, data display, and so on and so forth, and disconnect. So this is just to confirm you or to demonstrate to you that this USB port is on number 21. Now what you want to do, in fact, is to connect to our flight controller on the USB port. So this is this port, and this port in my case is on COM17. Before this can work, we however first have to set some parameters. So we connect the mission planner, and here this watch is COM17 and the baud rate is 115, so we connect, so this takes a while, you know that, blah 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 blah. Okay, so there are now three parameters which we have to set. The first thing is we have to tell which seal port is used on the flight controller to communicate with the storm gimbal controller. So in my case this is seal number two. So we go to the section seal number two here and we set the protocol to 84. This is the number for uh, choosing the storm gimbal controller protocol and the baud rate is set to 115 here. The second thing we need to do is we go to the mount section and set the mount type also to 84, which is this uh, storm gimbal controller mount. And now in addition you can see a new parameter, mount storm pass-through serial, and by default it's set to minus one, which means that this pass-through mode is just deactivated and nothing, it's not doing anything. Since we want to have our pass-through through this USB port of the autopilot flight controller, and this USB port corresponds to serial number zero, we have to enter here the number zero for serial zero. Uh, it should be a zero. For serial zero, of course, we have to write the parameter and we also have to reboot the flight controller to make the setting active. So we just connect, no, just connect and disconnect the USB port. Now, when we are ready, we can connect again. I'd like to show you something. Okay, we can connect. This again takes a while, you know that. Okay. And now you can watch the setting, uh, the messages, and you will find one which tells Storm32 pass-through installed on seal zero. So our pass-through option is in fact installed. Of course we can't use this USB port as long as we are connected to Mission Planner, so we have to disconnect from Mission Planner, we can go to the GUI, 
And now instead of choosing COM21, which was a USB port of a Storm Gable controller, we are choosing COM17, which was a USB port of the autopilot flight controller. And we can connect, et voila, everything works, we can read, we can write, also the data display works. So we can move it when, we, when, when I move the gimbal. So all this works now. Now the great thing is that this does not work only for the USB port, this in fact works for any CL port, especially for example also for a CL port where you have a telemetry link. So in my case the telemetry link is connected to telemetry 1, which corresponds to serial number 1. So we have to change the parameter from 0 to 1, so we have to con connect to Mission Planner. However, it's not working, and that's simply because we are still connected to our storm GUI, so we've, and the pass-through is still open, so we have to close it by disconnecting to it, and now also the connection to the Mission Planner works again. Okay, so we have to wait again, blah 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 blah. We go to our parameter in the mount section. So it's here. Okay. So now we enter number one since we want to have seal one. Okay. Where the telemetry is sitting. So we write the parameter. We have to reboot the controller, flight controller. We have again to wait a bit. And now in order to demonstrate to you that the telemetry port is on COM number 7, we choose here not COM 21, not 21, not 17, we choose now 7. And please note that the baud rate here is not 115 but 75. So I can connect it and this indeed is working so this should show you that we are indeed on the telemetry link now and if you watch the messages you can see that the pass-through is installed now on serial number one as it should be. So this is our telemetry and as before we can't use this pass-through for as long as we are connected to Mission Planner so we have to disconnect Mission Planner we can go to the GUI and now we choose COM number 7 corresponding to the telemetry link and now in addition we have to change the baud rate because it wasn't 115 but 57 so we do that but now everything is set up and this just should work and indeed we can connect we can read we can write also the data display works what you will find however is that the data display runs significantly slower and this is because the data rate of the telemetry link is in fact uh, much is too slow to, to run it at full rate. Um, now, what I really want to real make you have you to realize that this is indeed going wirelessly through the telemetry link, and in principle, this works also during flight. In my case, I have found that it actually disconnects during flight because once I'm airborne and the motors start to run, obviously my connection link becomes too weak and the data rate is not sufficient. But if you have a good data link, a good telemetry link, then you can do it also during flight.